So I'd love it if you could give a little bit of insight into the type of content strategies that have gotten some great results for you in terms of lead generation. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you've got to be looking for white space when it comes to content marketing, right? So back when I first got started, it was about blogging. It was about um, documenting things that I was doing that were working, detailed case studies, things like that. But now, um, especially with the state of where we are with SEO in particular, where there's just no more secrets, there's no more hacks, like we all know how to do it now, right? To me, now it's more about executing and, and doing that responsibly and scaling it. Now, my content strategy is much move more just away from written word. Written word is still a, an important part of it from an SEO point of view. Um, but video, social media, you know what I'm saying? Like understanding how your content needs to mold and mesh to different networks. Um, you know, another example is Twitter. You know, I, one of somebody who's managing our agency's account just keeps on tweeting links. And I'm like, Twitter is not, Twitter is not a promotion platform. Twitter is a conversational platform. Like if you want to have success on Twitter, you have to be actively um, you know, finding like a, a, if there's a conference, like search love just happened, like just hit that hashtag and just like talk to people, engage with people. That's how you build engagement on a platform like that. So if you want to do content the right way, you have to take a, a multi channel approach, a multi medium approach. Um, and then also your promotional strategy, like you have to invest in it, even if there's no ROI to it. Like I look at advertising for a lot of what I'm doing for myself as a sunk cost. That's to me is the cost of doing business. Now, like I won't even start promoting, a product or like the blueprint I was, I was advertising videos just with no call to action for six months just to kind of like get the market used to my face, get them having a little bit of trust and having a little bit of awareness, just videos of content, um, of value adding short five to 10 minute videos discussing different marketing things and different tips and, you know, agency tricks that stuff like that and building video views as a remarketing tool based as like an email list within Facebook. Right. Um, and then once, I went through that process and invested, I don't know, like $15,000 at least in, in those, those ads. Then when I launched the blueprint, again, I look at, at that as an investment in the business, right? That's a sunk cost that I'm pushing into and as an investment into the business. So once you have that done, then it's a lot easier to start advertising and driving more sales messages with, with your stuff. So, um, content is, is, is everything. I look at marketing right now. If you want to do marketing well right now, it's, it's simple. It's two things. It's content and promotion. But within those two things, it's it's a whole universe of things, right? And, and understanding the type of content, not just like coming up with the right topics, but like understanding how you're going to communicate it. Are you educating? Are you informing? Are you entertaining? Um, are you funny? Like all these different things. Would you say that the strategy is much different for a business to business or a high ticket service provider compared to say an e-commerce business? And if so, what are the more effective strategies for, for a business to business question? Yes. Yes, absolutely. And I, I can give you tangible examples. I had an e-commerce store called Laces Out. We sold shoelaces. I have to understand how much I can invest in my content. It's got to be much more of a, a viral content strategy, right? Something that is going to reach a lot of people. I'm going to get a lot more value out of that content, right? So for example, also understand the audience, right? The, under, the people who are buying shoelaces and how it's positioning as a, as a sneaker shoelace. Um, I was able to do that, right? So the content that I was focusing on was a lot more like roundup style videos, um, like, you know, uh, I don't know, like sneaker release dates, stuff like that, that people would want to share people that people would help promote for me, right? With a little bit of spend. Um, and it also didn't cost that. But when it comes to, to B2B uh, uh, on the completely opposite side of the coin, like what we're doing now at from the future, um, I'm actually very hands on. I just took on the role of CMO for the agency. So I'm just managing all the marketing now. Uh, we actually sat down as management and like on a whiteboard and we're like, who are we as an agency and who do we want to sell to? Um, and we came up with like certain words that personified the agency um, and the type of clients and the type of accounts that we want, right? So one of the big words is like enterprise. Like we are an enterprise marketing agency because enterprise to me um, and to the market tells you that we're positioning ourselves like as a large enterprise organization, right? We want to work with bigger accounts. So everything that we're doing within that scope of, of content creation has to be for enterprise organizations. So when I first got started and we were working with more business owners, I was speaking more to business owners because I was selling to them. Um, but now it's, we're getting our people, giving them the spotlight. I'm architecting and being the puppeteer to get them in the right position. Um, but we do these meetups like every two months in our office, we hire a film crew, they come in um, and we have our employees like put together decks, basically just on the stuff that we're doing for clients. So we just did one on a content audit. Um, really, really awesome. Two of our young consultants put together a deck 
um, got them on video. I then took that, turned it into a blog post. It been like just format, like going through and reformatting it though, like understanding that I'm speaking toward, I'm speaking to internal marketing managers and internal marketing teams. I'm not speaking in terms of like keyword rankings. I'm speaking in terms of like, we can help you get this done because I know that you're overloaded, right? So not only from like a strategy point of view, but like give us like unshoulder some of your workload. Like we can basically be your outsourced team um, to work with you from a strategic point of view and then helping you to get this content audit done. Um, and then, so again, like just speaking in that language, like understanding what their pain points are as internal marketing teams. Like, like I actually just, we're having a blog post written now that talks about how to sell SEO to your senior executives, right? Because a lot of times I know that those internal marketing teams, it's a t like SEO, a $20,000 a month SEO contract is a tough sell. So I'm going out and I'm building a blog post and a video that's going to give them the ammunition to have that conversation. The amount of people that are going to see that video is a lot less, but the impact that that video and that content is going to have is going to be much more. So like, again, it's understanding that like, if I'm doing something for laces out, you know, I do like an unboxing video of sneakers, right? That might get like a million views. That's awesome. But, but when I'm doing like specific high ticket B2B sales, I need to know exactly who that is and understanding that like, it's probably not going to get those same vanity metrics in terms of views, shares, engagement. But like, if I can just connect with one of those people and resonate with them, they send that to their team. Like we got a half million dollar contract on our hands. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's more of a patient long game. It's knowing who your audience is. It's knowing how to properly communicate that, speak to their language, speak to their pain points. Um, and it's the same thing if you're doing that for a cheap e-commerce product, but like, again, understanding just like the differences in the performances and what you should be looking at. Um, it's a completely different ball game, you know, same overall kind of like strategic approach, but it's a different ball game in terms of how you execute it, you know? Absolutely. So yeah, it's kind of the same, strategy in that you're catering to a buyer journey but it's a much different sales cycle so it's kind of uh, really interesting what you said about niching down uh in your case understanding that enterprise client knowing their pain points and needs and delivering the right content and uh marketing channels for that user and kind of really aligning your your messaging for them 